Hello, welcome to Advanced JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 8, JavaScript Get Own Property Descriptor Method Attributes, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about the Get Own Property Descriptor Methods attributes in JavaScript. So, in the last session, we learned the advantage of using Get Own Property Descriptor Method. So, what is that going to return? The Get Own Property Descriptor Method is going to return the nature of the property in the form of four attributes they are value writable enumerable and configurable as of now in this session we are going to understand very clearly about writable enumerable and configurable so without wasting much time let me jump into the next slide and here comes this code snippet in the strict mode I'm having a function student and it's having two properties name and gender the value is Steve and male and I'm creating an object of this function and the object name is student1 and here I'm going to introduce a new property that is a defined property what is this defined property going to do this defined property helps you to define a new property for an object and also it helps you in modifying existing property or the property descriptor so let me show you the advantage of using this defined property and in this session we are going to understand mainly about these four attributes value writable enumerable and configurable so without wasting much time let me jump into visual studio code and here comes my HTML page so let me define a function and its employee or let me take it as student itself student so it is having two things two properties name it is set to Sam and this dot age or let me take a function expression so here I'm just alerting with something hello message hello so after that I need to create an object of the function student student new student so what is this get own property descriptor method is going to do it's going to return uh, the nature of the property in the form of four attributes value writable configurable and enumerable so let me show you that object get own property descriptor get own property descriptor method to this I have to pass two parameters one is the employee name sorry employee ob sorry student object then the attribute which I want to uh, sorry the property which I want to see the nature of it to control this okay now I have to see the output in console window so I'll pass it to console.log so I'll just cut this entire thing and I'll paste it okay now or it's going to return let me double click on this HTML page to see the output so here comes the output in the console window so how do I navigate to the console window it's click on more tools then developer tools in the console window we can see a object will be there okay the object will contain four attributes valuable writable enumerable and truable value is Sam because of the name property we are passing to the get on property descriptor method so it fetch the value of that particular property name the value is Sam and writable enumerable configurable the values are true so in this session we are going to see what happens if I set the value of writable to false enumerable to false and configurable to false that's the importance of this session so let me jump back to presentation or Visual Studio Code here what I'll do is okay I'll just remove this now I'll call object dot define property this ob object dot define property method is used to define new property or also to modify the existing property we can make use of this define property method to this I need to pass uh, three parameters one is the one 
property which we are going to edit that is name and before that I need to pass the object and after that I need to tell the descriptor descriptor in the sense the writable the writable I'm setting the value to false so before I set the value writable to false what I need to do is I'll comment this and now what I'll do is I want to change the value of the property Sam to Steve so with the help of this student object and the dot notation I can access this property and I'll set the value to Steve okay now I'll make use of the alert function to that I'll pass student dot name which provides me the output as Steve on the pop-up window we'll get the uh, we'll get the output as Steve okay but I want the end user to restrict okay I want the end user not to edit the value present inside this property's name how can I stop that I can stop that with the help of this writable attribute and we are setting the value that to false so what I'll do right now is alert student dot name Now let me go back and let me refresh we'll get Steve and here it's Steve so that should not happen why because you can observe very clearly I'm setting the writable value to false so okay I need to edit this okay now we have to observe very carefully you are having a student object and I'm I'm just printing that value present in the property so student non name so in the first alert function I'll get output as Sam okay and coming back to the code and after that I'm restricting the end user by not allowing him to change the value of the property Sam so I'm telling writable is set to the value false so after that I'm changing the value of property name to Steve and this does not happen still the value of name remains the Sam now let me go back and let me click you can observe still the value of the name property remains Sam because we are restricting the end user by not allow him to change the value of the property Sam by setting writable to false this is the advantage of using the writable and setting the value to false so let me jump to presentation and enumerable so what I'll do I'll just erase these things suppose if you wish to get the list of properties present inside the function how can I achieve that I can achieve that with the help of object dot keys method to this I need to pass student to this I need to pass student okay now alert result control s now I'll go back and I'll refresh you can observe we are getting the list of properties present inside the function name and allow and that that's work fine but my objective is I want to I want to restrict the end user um, by getting the entire properties I want him only to get the hello property not the name how can I restrict the name um, from the end user okay uh, it's very simple what I need to do is I need to set enumerable to false so now what I'll do is I'll take another variable demo to that I'll pass object dot key student then I'll take alert function to that I'll pass a demo to control s let me go back and let me refresh here in the in the sense before setting enumerable to false I'll get the output as name and allow both properties once I set the enumerable to false I'll get only allow because I'm restricting the name okay name property to display in the list when user calls object dot keys method this is the advantage of using these properties writable and enumerable and configurable it's very simple suppose if you want to uh, make the object itself uh, uh, the editing of the object itself restricted from the end user then you have to set the configurable value to false it's very simple and you guys can try this one
okay what you have to do is you have to come here and you have to set like configurable to false what you're trying to do by doing that is you're restricting the end user um, not to not to change the values of the object properties of the object okay by setting configurable to false and that's what we learned in this session like the importance of this writable and enumerable and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel ankh pro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference of our websites we're on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you